themes given every year. Motto is that informed prayer and prayerful action. This movement is a very powerful organization in World Council of Churches. I have heard about your faith, Ephesians 1.15. For this reason, ever since I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. Paul always used to bring out the character features of respective churches when he starts writing his letters. That's how he writes to the Romans. That's how to Philemon. That's how the Thessalonians. He always used to recognize their faithful action. Church means they are faithful to the Lord who was crucified and risen. There are 37 times the word pisti, which means faith. Pisti in Greek means faith. Are written in the book of Romans. He was there in Ephesus for more than three years. From that, he wrote a letter to the Corinthians, a letter to Philippi, a letter to Colossians. He was teaching, educating the local church in Ephesus. Acts of Apostles, chapter 19. Acts of Apostles, chapter 19. Verse 10, this went on for two years so that all the Jews and Greeks who lived in the province of Asia heard the word of the Lord. Early was teaching in the synagogue and there was an issue with the Jewish community and therefore he started teaching using the town hall in Ephesus to the members, to the people, the young Christians who assembled every week at that town hall. Verse 8, Acts 19, verse 8. Paul entered the synagogue and spoke boldly there for three months, arguing persuasively about the kingdom of God. He was aware of the customs, culture, religious activities, and the faithful activities of the local church. And that's why when he want to write to them, he begins with this thing, I heard about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints. Before he could make more relationship with, with that particular congregation, he wrote this letter. And your love for all the saints, love for all the saints is very, very important one. Love for all the saints. We'll have to reflect on three aspects about the faithful activities of this congregation. First one, is that he is praying for them that God may grant wisdom and revelation. Wisdom and revelation. Ephesians 1.17 I keep asking that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the glorious Father, may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Every church has to have this knowledge of wisdom, our revelation. Churches are movements, not institutions. If they have wisdom and revelation, 
there will be mission otherwise it is an inactive one and that's why he says that that i keep asking he was praying to the god of the lord jesus christ that they may be granted wisdom and revelation we as congregation must follow this way of paul's prayer we have to pray that we be granted wisdom and revelation wisdom to understand the word of god and the revelation to continue our ministry in our immediate context where we are living and when he wrote letter the philemon also he mentioned about his faith and about his love let me also read philemon verse 4 and 5 and 6 I always thank my God as I remember you in my prayers because I hear about your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love for all the saints love for all the saints means all the congregation all the members are understood by St Paul as saints all are saints I pray that you may be active in sharing your faith active sharing in faith by writing this letter to the Ephesians Paul wants them to be active in their faith and service related with Christian faith. Secondly, their eyes may be opened. Ephesians 1 verse 18. I pray also that eyes of your heart may be enlightened, may be enlightened. Wisdom, revelation and enlightenment. Enlightenment comes through wisdom and revelation every church has to have enlightenment awareness clarity in our faith and then only we'll be able to involve in mission because that may lead to hope in order in order that you may know the hope to which he has called you the riches of his glorious inheritance in the saints by by writing this he is building the congregation not just teaching the congregation he is building the people building the buildings like church buildings are very easy but building the congregation is very difficult because everyone has their own ideas of their faith and action we need to have a uniform faith and action in order to take the gospel to the rest of the world and finally on his incomparably great power for us who believe that power is like the working of his mighty strength we get strength from our lord through wisdom revelation enlightenment we get hope and finally we are strengthened many a times we feel that we are very weak we underestimate our own faith and belief but this exercise will grant strength for all of us during this world day of prayer they celebrate a, year, a week long celebration from this friday to next thursday all over the world they celebrate they 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 choose days which are suitable for them but actually on first friday in march they observe world day of prayer paul prayed for the congregation of ephesus we need to pray for congregation in order that god may be of helpful to us
to grant wisdom, revelation, enlightenment, hope, and strength. Let us pray. Gracious Lord, help us to realize the need of wisdom and revelation. Let these knowledges be a joyful one in order to carry out the mission in our context. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.